New at five tonight, University of Alabama cornerback Cyrus Jones, a football player, is out of jail. This is the scene outside the jail this afternoon as the 21-year-old was released. Jones spent 12 hours behind bars after being charged with domestic violence. WIAT 42 News reporter Lee Garner was there when he was released. She joins us now live in Tuscaloosa where she's looked into his arrest. Well, as you can imagine, Alabama fans are not happy with this latest development, but we did manage to get our hands on this. It's the front page of the incident report, so we're getting a little bit more insight into what police believe happened that night. Now, according to the incident report, Jones damaged a young woman's cell phone earlier in the day and then allegedly threatened to assault her in front of another witness. Domestic violence with the cases that there have happened, that's inexcusable, period, end of discussion. Bama fans woke Wednesday morning to more unwelcome off-season news, taking to social media to react sometimes with snide remarks like, Bama can compete with the NFL on at least one level, arrests. Not only it's the fourth arrest this spring, but also that it's, um, I think, like the second one with domestic violence, which, you know, that's a third one with the domestic violence. Tuscaloosa police arrested cornerback Cyrus Jones just after 11 Tuesday night at Campus Evolution Villages. He was charged with two counts of domestic violence in the third degree, and our cameras caught up with Jones when he bonded out of jail Wednesday afternoon. Whatever Saban, I guess, feels necessary in order to um, make them learn, then I guess he will. I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. Tide coach Nick Saban responded to the arrest, saying, quote, we don't ever condone any behavior that shows any kind of disrespect. There was no physical contact in this situation. Once we get the facts, we will take the necessary steps to correct this behavior in the future. End quote. WIAT 42 introduced you to Coach Ty or Tyrone White earlier this month when he was the speaker for Tuscaloosa's Domestic Violence Task Force. He has also come to speak to the Bama football team and teams all over the country about domestic violence. There are a variety of different categories by which domestic violence actually is triggered. And these are the things that we got to teach young people so they don't cross these thresholds. And we have much more coming up for you tonight on WIAT 42 News at 6. More with Coach Ty and why he thinks we need to be starting a lot younger in talking to these young men about these problems. That's coming up tonight on WIAT 42 News at 6. For now, live in Tuscaloosa, Lee Garner, WIAT 42 News coverage you can count on.